My name is Eric O'Gray. I'm a private citizen, and I'm here because I believe that this committee can and must resolve the current, uh, America's current pandemic of obesity and chronic disease. Ten years ago, at age 50, I was 340 pounds on 15 different medications, including 200 units of insulin a day for type 2 diabetes and every other thing that you can imagine. I had uh, been morbidly obese for 25 years, and I didn't know why, and nobody could tell me why. I kept going from doctor to doctor, and I couldn't get a solution. I was eating what everybody else was eating. What was the problem with me? And so, one day at a physical, my doctor told me he'd run out of options, and my option really, unless I wanted two-thirds of my stomach removed, was to purchase a cemetery plot because he didn't know anything else that he could advise me to do. So then I decided to get a second opinion. In my second opinion, I found a doctor, and she sat down with me, and she said, um, I'm going to uh, prescribe for you two things. I'm going to tell you to get a rescue dog from your local shelter because you need a little bit of exercise, and I'm also going to prescribe a whole food plant-based diet. And I'd never heard of that before, so it was really interesting. At that point, I had tried every diet ever commercially marketed in, the United, uh, in America, and I was able, including I'd cycled on and off Atkins for about 20 years, I was always able to lose a little bit of weight, but then I would put it back on, and I never knew why. And when I failed on each of these diets, I would feel shame, and I would just go back and crawl back in my hole not knowing what to do. Now, on this new diet, I lost... 150 pounds in 10 months, it felt effortless. I felt better than I'd ever felt in my entire life. And after three weeks, I'd lost 20 pounds and I went back and I said, it feels like a miracle has happened. My energy is through the roof. My, uh, my mental clarity is like nothing I've ever experienced. I feel like I've experienced a miracle or emerged from the matrix. What has happened to me? And she said, you're starting to feel normal. Apparently I'd never felt normal before. Now, it is true that Humans can feel good and lose weight with either whole food, plant-based nutrition or a low-carb, high-fat eating pattern. But I beg you to consider the long-term ramifications of each of these. As has been shown in long-term large population studies going back over 50 years to Framingham, high cholesterol is associated with heart disease. Most Americans who consume animal products need statins to control their cholesterol. Several large-scale long-term studies show that vegan populations have the best longevity and lowest chronic disease. And there is no study suggesting that keto or any other low-carb, high-fat diet improve longevity or reduce heart disease or cancer as there is with vegan diets. And even if all other things were equal, vegan diets are indisputably better for our environments and do not involve the horrors of factory farming and concentrated animal feeding operations. I beg you to choose life. Thank you for your time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more highlights and information about the changing dietary guidelines in 2020 an exclusive analysis you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And make sure to hit that notification bell too so you don't miss the next video. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan. Next.